up libra it's west coast tarot with your end of july general love reading this is for my lovely libras libra sun moon rising and venus this is a general love reading and may not resonate or be every libra story out there but if i vibe with you and you like my style please like and subscribe to catch future west coast tarot videos if you want to purchase a personal reading with me or want to know about any of the tarot decks that i use i always list that information down below in the description box as well as how to contact me with any questions okay so this is a general reading roles can be reversed energies can be reversed and cross watchers in a general reading this very well may play out from your perspective so just apply it how it resonates to you so spirit what are we allowed to know and what do we need to know regarding the current love energy surrounding libra for the end of july going into august tell me about the love energies for libra what are the current love energies for libra please Five of Spears. So this is an energy of competition, um, conflict, rivalry, chaos around you. So some of you might be in a position where there's more than one person involved. Um, you know, maybe you feel that you can't trust anyone right now. Or maybe you're just really conflicted over a person and can't get them out of your mind. Someone that you at once held passion for. This is also Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, we have the Hermit. This is Virgo energy. Uh, hermit in reverse, Three of Cups in reverse. Two of Spears in reverse. The Chariot. Two of Swords. And King of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have Judgment in reverse. This is a lot of karmic karmic energy going on right now this is karmic lessons um this can be people talking about you people gossiping about you someone not making the right choice in life someone having their vision cloudy um but i feel like this also is talking about doubting a situation and having lack of self-awareness okay where you're coming from we have the hermit in reverse this is Virgo energy, like I said, um, this is a feeling of feeling isolated, you know, feeling alone, feeling like you're not yourself, you know, like just something's a little off. I just don't feel like myself. I don't know why I don't feel like myself today. This is just having that energy of just feeling like something, you know, like you've, you're not on the path that you need to be, that you're not on the path that you should be on. Okay. And you feel like lonely or you feel isolated is what I'm seeing here. Why is the Hermit here for Libra? <clears throat> yeah, I feel like there's a situation that, you know, you've been wanting to resurrect, um, that you're still not over, that you're still tied to. We also have Scorpio energy, but I feel like there has been some delays. Like, you haven't really let this situation go. Okay, you haven't let the situation go, and I feel that you're still tied to it energetically, and I feel like you want to let it go, but it's just like a part of you still is like, you know, I don't feel right without it, and I feel like you guys feel coming from the past energy where you were just feeling really lonely and just wishing that this energy would come back to life, okay? Okay. How you're being seen, we have the Three of Cups in reverse. This is, um, again, some some isolation. <laughs> this is loneliness. This is, you know, sticking to yourself. I feel like a lot of you haven't been going out with your friends. You know, you just want to be by yourself. Um, you know, people will call you, text you, and you're not so quick to respond to them. Um, you know, you're not wanting to go out all the time. You know, some of you could be overindulging for a few of you. You know, maybe drinking too much drinking too much wine, you know, um, 
I feel like it's just not in a positive situation. Spirit, tell me about Libra. How are they being seen? Yeah, see, we have this energy of just holding on to something, fearing change, you know, just playing it safe, you know, not wanting to go out, not wanting to make any bad decisions, um, you know, not even making plans that work. You know, I feel like, you know, people want to go out with you and hang out with you, but it's never the right time. It's, it's like I always have other things to do. The planning is not uh, sinking. Spirit, why is the Two of Wands here in reverse for Libra? Way too many. Let's see. A five of Wands again. You know, just feeling like there's conflict. Too much conflict. Too much competition. Spirit, why is Two of Wands in reverse here for Libra, please? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. And, okay, I do have two threes here. So I do have to say something about this. I feel like there could be, you know, a situation where you guys are connecting with a person who may have involved you in a third-party situation and I feel like, you know, they could have chose the karmic partner over you, okay? Um, there could have been slander. There could have been gossip over you. And I feel like right now you don't know who to trust. And I feel like you just want to be alone. You just, um, you just don't want to put yourself out there again. And, <clears throat> and I feel like you're just playing it safe. You're protecting your heart is what I'm seeing here. What's coming towards you? We have the two of the two of spears in reverse. So I do have the two of wands um, in reverse here as well as how you're being seen. But I feel like you guys are holding on to something because you're afraid of change. There's something that needs to be released here. There's something that you don't want to make a decision on. And I feel like you have to make a choice. You definitely have to make a decision on this. And I feel like it's time to start making plans. It's time to start making decisions. Um, you know, some of you might need to leave and you're not leaving. You're playing it safe when you know there's nothing good for you in your town. You know there's nothing good for you in your city. I feel like a lot of you might need to make this move, okay? Spirit, clarify two of spheres in reverse. Why is this here, please? Because it's disappointing. It's definitely disappointing. I feel like you guys aren't getting treated how you want. Um, in a romantic situation, I feel that... Also the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this Cap... This Capricorn. <laughs> I feel like this Capricorn. I don't know. Some of you may not... I don't know why that rolled off my tongue. Um... But I feel like there's someone who's been very disappointing, caused disappointment in your life. This is someone who's very selfish, you know, only thinks of themselves. Very self-centered, very manipulative. Um, someone who plays mind games, you know, they're only obsessed with the looks on what things look like on the outside as opposed to the inside. Very obsessed with status, you know, very... Um, very greedy with their money. They don't want to throw out their money. They don't want to waste their money. So I feel like you guys are hoping that they'll change, you know, and that's why you're playing it safe. You're you're wishing that they'll change, that they will quit playing games, that they'll come back and that they'll do things the right way. But I feel like you're holding on to air. You know, it's is can you is that an achievable idea? Is that an achievable goal? Is that an achievable outcome? You know, you can change and that's the only person that you can change is yourself. You can't change other people. Okay? Um you can try to you know, they have to change because they want to change. You can try to guide them or train them, you know, like, you know, like by reinforcement, positive reinforcement. Um, but if someone really wants to change, it's going to have to start from within. Mutual energy, we have the chariot. This is cancer energy, but this is about taking control, taking direction. Um, so I feel like both of you might be going in, most, both of you might be needing to take control get control of yourself, take control of the situation, go towards another direction. I feel like movement is mutual energy between the two of you. Spirit, why is Chariot here, please? What's the mutual energy between Libra and their person? I feel like with the Nine of Swords here, you both feel, you both have anxiety over the situation or you feel that it's just 
very traumatic, um, a lot of conflict, a lot of drama, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. Too many. Chariot again. This time in reverse. I feel like, you know, a lot of you are stressing out over the situation, but it's like, and someone's angry here, but I feel like there's there's a lack of control. I feel like this situation's not going anywhere. No one's taking initiative. It's not going in any direction. And I feel like mutually, you guys may want to connect with each other or get it back on track. But there's anxiety here because someone feels, well, both of you rather feel that it's hopeless. You know, that people won't change. I also feel that if this is a person that is causing disappointment, not to say that the King of Pentacles directly is causing disappointment. This could be the person connecting with your person. Because I do see that some of you are in a karmic situation and if you if they are with a karmic partner, I feel like this karmic partner is manipulating them. You know, and I feel like this is the root of the disappointment here. They might have to um, they might share finances with this person. They might own homes with this person. They might have mixed um, you know, a lot of intertwinement in regards to money, or this person might be very dependent upon them upon money. So this person might be trying to stay with them to play it safe, okay? And I, I say that too because I, I feel like they're feeling they're feeling mentally conflicted over you, okay? I feel like with the Two of Swords energy, they feel that there's no right choice, okay? They're in their heads. They're overthinking the situation. Um, they're very indecisive and they're at a stalemate, okay? They're at a stalemate over you. They're at a stalemate over the situation because, you know, if I go towards what I really want, I'm going to lose out. You know, do I go and be with the person I love but have to suffer misery because there's someone who's going to make my life miserable? Or do I stay and play it safe and be with the person who I'm not happy with and hurt the one that I love? But I be with the one that I'm not happy with, but I save my finances. I save, you know, my kids are happy. Okay. And I feel like with the, the hangman here, um, you know, I, I just see all this energy that you guys are waiting for this person. You're waiting for this person, but they're so indecisive, okay? Spirit, clarify to us the words in reverse. Why is this here? Yeah, they feel that it's very overwhelming, and I don't feel that they're fighting for the situation. They don't have control over the situation. They don't feel that they can control this. Spirit, why is Seven of Wands here? <coughs> Seven of Swords. And I feel like they're trying to cover up their their own mask. Like, they're trying to cover up their own feelings. They're trying to mask their feelings. They're being deceptive to themselves. But also, I feel like they're very, you know, some of them may have ghosted you or deceptively walked away. But they're still mentally conflicted over you. Okay? They want to take direction. They don't know how they feel. There's too much obstacles in the way. Advice from Spirit is King of king of swords in reverse so that's very interesting i feel like this is they're saying that you guys are dealing with someone who does not have emotional control okay so can you stay and put your life on hold for this can you put your life on the back burner for this why is king of swords here please spirit Yeah, this is just not a fair situation. Um, this is your energy, Libra. This is not fair to you. You know, someone's being dishonest to you. Someone's not taking accountability. Someone's not fighting for you. And if so, if, you know, true love always prevails, but if someone's more obsessed or more worried about their money and their finances over true love, is that someone who you really want to be with, right? You know, I feel like you're not getting closure and it's not fair, but just, well, who, who did I, I just did Virgo and I think it was Virgo. I was telling them that, you know, nowadays, if you get closure on a situation, it's, it's almost like a luxury. You know, people don't know how to communicate anymore. People are on their phones all day. People don't know how to have a real life conversation in purpose, you know, in person. If you ever go to a restaurant, look around. 
everyone's on their phone. And I can't, I can't stand that. Like, I love to talk to people. I love to just, you know, I like to be on my phone at certain times. I have to be on my phone. But I like to just have really in-depth, raw conversations with people and really just get to know people people listen to the stories they have they're just so interesting rather than watching it on my phone watching someone tell their story on my phone I like to communicate with people and people nowadays don't know how to interact with other people so rather than giving them closure rather than breaking up with someone they would rather ghost them or just walk away and not address the situation and I feel like nowadays closure is a luxury so I feel like you guys are not getting the closure you want you know, you feel like this cycle is incomplete. You feel that it's very unfair. And with the King of Swords here, you know, this is a very unstable situation, but you might have to cut it out. You know, you might have to cut it out. You might have to go cold in a situation. Because if someone really wants you, if someone loves you, they will fight for you. They will make their way towards you, okay? So remember that. All right, angels, what messages do we have for Libra? What messages do we have for Libra for the end of July going into August? Messages for Libra, please. All right. It says, love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provide a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. I really want to emphasize here self-worth and importance. I feel like you guys, with the judgment in reverse, you know, you're, la you're, you're without self-awareness here. Okay, you're definitely without self-awareness here. And I feel like with the nine of spears here, it's time to be resilient. It's time to take a last stand and remember who you are. Okay, because you guys have been feeling stuck in a situation. And I feel like you guys need to be aware of who you are. Love yourself. Don't allow anyone to treat you a certain way. You know, don't let anyone control you. Don't feel like you're trapped. Um, love yourself. Have a relationship with yourself. And then you're going to find someone who's worthy of you. Someone will gravitate to you who's worthy of you. What other messages do you have for... There we go. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. Yeah. You know, don't sit there and worry about the problem. Oh, the problem is her. The problem is him. You know, they, they're they the pro reason why we're not together. They're the reason. No. Love yourself. Because if this person loved you, this person would be choosing you. This person would deal with that bullshit situation and they would make their way towards you. Okay. All right, you guys. So, um, I am going to leave it here. I hope you have an amazing rest of your July. I will catch you on your August videos. Love and light. Take care.